From Washington, this is VOA News. Pakistani Taliban kill 141 in school siege. Russian ruble tumbles. I'm Ray Kugel reporting from Washington. A deadly siege by Taliban militants at a school in Pakistan left at least 141 people dead, most of them children. Islamist militants wearing military uniforms and strapped with explosives attacked a military-run school facility in Peshawar. Military officials say 132 of the dead were students about 12 to 16 years old. Nine school staff members were also killed. A Pakistan army spokesman in Peshawar says that security forces killed the seven attackers. The Pakistani Taliban claim responsibility for the massacre. Nobel Peace Prize winner Malala Yousafzai, a student and Pakistani education advocate who was shot by the Taliban two years ago, responded to Tuesday's carnage. We stand with all those families and all those children who are injured right now and who are suffering through this big trauma. And, and now it is time that we unite and I call upon the international community, leaders in Pakistan, all political parties and everyone that we should stand up together and fight against terrorism and we should make sure that every child gets safe and quality education. Pakistan's declared three days of mourning. Two car bombs exploded Tuesday south of the Yemeni capital Sana'a, hitting a school bus traveling near a Shiite rebel gathering, killing 25 people including at least 15 students. In Sierra Leone, authorities are planning to conduct house-to-house searches around the capital, Freetown, looking for hidden Ebola patients. Freetown's become a center of the West African Ebola outbreak, reporting more than 130 new confirmed cases in the first week of December, one-third of the country's total. This is VOA News. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry says nothing should be allowed to get in the way of Israel's upcoming elections, as Palestinians prepare to introduce a draft U.N. Security Council resolution that would set a deadline for Israel's withdrawal from Palestinian territories. In comments ahead of his meeting with Chief Palestinian Negotiator Saeb Arakat in London, Secretary Kerry said it is imperative to lower tensions so there is an opportunity to find a path toward genuine peace. The White House says President Obama has decided to sign legislation authorizing more sanctions on Russia for its role in the Ukraine crisis. The bill also gives the president authority to provide $350 million in lethal and non-lethal military aid to the Ukrainian government. The value of Russia's currency, the ruble, dropped 20 percent in a single day, touching a new low of 80 to the dollar. This comes despite a dramatic central bank interest rate hike to prop up its value. VOA's Daniel Scharf reports. Russia's emergency measures to break the fall of the ruble showed the opposite results Tuesday as the currency dropped to a new low. The ruble at one point fell to below 80 to the dollar, despite a whopping 6.5% interest rate hike. It recovered somewhat in late trading, but was still down 60% from its value at the beginning of the year. Russia's central bank announced the jump to a 17% rate overnight Monday to try to shore up the currency after it lost 10% of its value in just one day. Daniel Sheriff, Moscow. Another Bush is seriously thinking about running for president of the United States. Former Florida Governor Jeb Bush posted messages on his Facebook page and Twitter account that he plans to actively explore a bid for the Republican Party's nomination with a final decision expected next year. Here's VOA's Jim Malone. In his announcement, Jeb Bush said he had discussed a possible White House bid with his family last month over the Thanksgiving holiday and decided to actively explore a presidential bid in the months ahead. Bush would be considered one of the favorites for the Republican Party nomination should he decide to run in what is expected to be a very crowded field of Republican presidential contenders for 2016. Jim Malone, VOA News, Washington. Ten former high-ranking Bosnian Serb officials were arrested Tuesday on suspicion of killing dozens of Muslim civilians at the start of the Bosnian War, which lasted from 1992 until 1995. The men are accused of planning, leading, and participating in a July 1992 operation in which 120 civilians, including women and children, were expelled from their homes in a northeastern village. Sixty-seven of them were later shot dead. And U.S. entertainer Robin Williams' suicide topped Internet search engine Google's list of global search requests for the year 2014. I'm Ray Kugel in Washington. That's the latest world news from VOA.